The world is in crisis and desperately seeks a solution. But if the pen is mightier than the sword, can a quill subdue a pandemic? There is one quill, it seems, that can. In 1752, a fatal epidemic had engulfed the eastern European town of Mezhebush. Not a house was spared, not a cure was found, and the tally of critically ill mushroomed uncontrollably. In desperation, the townspeople called on the Baal Shem Tov to use his sacred powers, but he told them that he could see it decreed in heaven that only they could help themselves. He then shared a secret that has since been carefully transmitted by the Rebbes of Chabad. God's will can change as a result of the Jewish people's determined efforts in producing words of Torah. Normally, this is understood as the verbalized words of Torah produced by the subjects studied aloud, the Psalms recited, and fervent prayers for healing and protection. But there is another form of words that are non-verbalized. They are more inclusively available to all Jews and are at least as potent. These are none other than the black words meticulously inked onto the parchment of a Torah scroll that by divine decree serve to crystallize pure divinity into highly tangible form. The Baal Shem Tov's message was clear. If all the townspeople participated in an effort to produce a new Torah scroll, they would find favor in God's eyes. The people of Mezhebush sprang into action, and so did their Torah scroll. As soon as the first columns were prepared, the disease halted and even the severely ill began to heal. We are currently in the midst of a global epidemic and the Jewish community is paying a heavy price. Let us turn together to the Baal Shem Tov's remedy. Join our campaign to produce a maximum participant, safer Torah. Help us elicit the miracle of protection and healing in the merit of the unity underlying this sacred endeavor. <laughs>